Hello and welcome back to the Osborne Wood Products Builder Studio. Today we are going to be building something that probably every woodworker will have to build at some point in his uh, career as a woodworker. If you stay tuned, I'll tell you what we're building. Okay, so today we are actually building a podium. Um, we are building ours for the, uh, the front office. Uh, as you come into Osborne Wood Products, we have a little showroom area there. This could be a lectern, this could be a, a podium, this could be a, uh, uh, a sign-in book, you know, in, in some facility. Ours is going to be mainly plywood and uh, we're, we're do, using an oak plywood so that it looks nice and I think it'll stain up pretty good. We're using some quarter notched uh, island legs from Osborne Wood Products to just kind of dress the whole thing up a little bit. These will be on the front corners, okay? All of these pieces are pretty well cut. Um, we need to do some more work to them, but uh, we'll go ahead and show you the, the video of the cutting these pieces out and uh, we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so in talking about this project, um, we kind of started with the, the legs. We literally just held a board up um, on this leg and said yeah that's about the angle that we <laughs> that we want uh, the whole top of this uh, podium or lectern or whatever you want to call it um, to be so we're going to actually be quarter notching these and so my plan is to take out that quarter right there we're going to set up our, our table saw and actually um, do our quarter notch now. All right, so what I'm going to do, a uh, three inch leg, and I'm actually going to go with a full uh, quarter notch here. I'm going to set this just over inch and a half, okay? And I'm going to go just slightly over because it doesn't matter if those cuts kind of cross, um, you know, a, a little a little bit past each other. I'm actually going to have my solid over here. I'm going to have what I'm cutting out over here uh, on this side of the blade. So I want an, an inch and a half in between uh, the fence and the, the blade. This is something that we do at Osborne Wood Products. Uh, this is a service that we do. That's available at osbornewood.com. Obviously, I cannot have my uh, all of my shroud and, and blade guard and all of that on here while I'm doing a quarter notch. I'm going to set up my, my table saw. I've got this locked down. I'm going to be really careful. I have a push uh, stick here that I can help to feed that through so that I'm sure that my you know fingers aren't going to get down into that blade. So what I've done here is I've actually attached a, a fence that will uh, kind of make this fence longer and it'll give me something a little bit better to um, stay on as I go through the blade and um, it'll give me something to to keep those squares against. So let's go ahead and cut this thing. I'm going to try and get all of these pieces lined up here, but my, this is the, the side, okay? And um, the front here and the back, uh, the front is gonna have the decorative legs. And so if I come out right here at the very top uh, to save, you know, save as much of my piece of plywood as possible, right? I should be able to just lay my square right onto the cut of that leg.
We decided to do a, a solid oak top on this piece. I have joined this edge and um, I'm going to cut to length and then actually um, table saw this edge to make that fresh. We're gonna uh, get this glued up. All right, so what I'm doing here um, is actually using bar clamps. I really like these. They're uh, fairly affordable and really easy to use. Now, when you glue, you want full coverage. When, when you get these together, you want pretty much every surface to have glue on it, okay? If you do lines that are, are pretty much covering, I guarantee you by the time you clamp that and take it back, you'll have pretty much full coverage, okay? So, keep an eye on that as you go. And kinda give just a little bit of pressure. And get everything pretty well set to where you want it. That looks pretty good. We're gonna set that aside and um, we'll be coming back to this in several hours. Okay, so we're going to cut uh, a dado in our side here. Remember, our, our shelf is gonna go into that dado and um, so let's talk just a little bit about dados and um, how, how we're cutting it here. First of all, um, three quarter inch plywood. So I've got a three quarter inch bit. Um, should be a really close fit there. Um, I'm going with a quarter inch deep dado. Uh, here again, three quarter inch plywood. I just like a quarter. It's really easy to, um, to figure and to, to work with. Um, it's definitely enough to, to hold that shelf in there and to get a good, you know, to sink it down in and everything. See if we can cut this thing and then uh, we'll set up and, and cut our other side also. So the next step I think is to put a few pocket holes into the, the top of our, our back and the top of our sides. And that's how we're going to attach the, um, that solid oak top that we had glued up. And then I think we'll be ready to assemble our, our basic case, okay? Remember, I made it a little bit oversized, so I'm going to double check my my measurements and see exactly what I want on my overhangs um, and get that figured out. Uh, I have a, a nice saw cut uh, on one edge that I can just uh, kind of build my my squareness off of. Okay, so I'll pick which end I, I want to get rid of. You know, cut the excess off of, and um, and then. Uh, We'll get that sized and then uh, just belt sand this and then uh, get it ready to put on. Okay, so I'm gonna keep my screws kind of right up behind that facer, okay? And so those will be hidden. All 
All right, so now that Tim has uh, completed the assembly for us on the podium, um, we're going to start uh, doing a little bit of finish sanding. Um, not gonna do a ton, uh, mainly just the high touch surfaces, the top and everything. Um, then we're gonna get an oil uh, put on this. We're gonna do a Danish oil finish. Um, uh, Danish oil looks really good. It kind of warms the wood up, uh, depending on what color you choose. Um, and it's super easy to apply. So uh, we're gonna go through that. We added our bumper so that our scrapbook is not sliding off. Okay, so if you're interested in these legs, we'll have a, a description of these legs uh, down below. If you would like, subscribe, and share, and all of that good stuff. Uh, if you have some, some ideas for us, uh, some things that you would like us to use or see us, you know, um, put to use, shoot us a comment and, and let us know what you'd like to see, and we'll see if we can incorporate some of those things as well. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on the Osborne Wood Products Builder Studio.